Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Amuna Project. We here at the Amuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to inspiration, education, guidance, advice. And I want to talk today a little bit about uh, Rabbi Pinchas of Koretz. Koretz is a town in the Ukraine. Especially in how uh, Rabbi Pinchas uh, dealt with his disciples when it came to questions of doubt and uh, troubles with respect to Amuna, faith. One of his disciples, uh, Rabbi Raphael of Bershad, came to him, and he was very troubled. It was uh, very troubled. He says, I find it very difficult to, to retain a perfect faith um, and, and the belief that, that the Creator provides for us when so often we're in want and uh, we're struggling and we're starving and uh, we have no money, and, and we have no livelihood, and how can I, how can I, uh, how can I build up my strength uh, in the Creator who provides, uh, when He's clearly hiding His face from us? Uh, Rabbi Pinchas uh, explained uh, to um, Rabbi Raphael that um, the fact that you know it's hiding. When you know that, it ceases to be in hiding. Um, if you know something is hiding, you also know it exists. You may not know where it is, but you know it ex exists. Um, if you believe that God is hiding his face, you must, by definition, believe that there's a God. Um, it's the... Um, it's the uh, 18th century version of the first step in solving a problem is recognizing that there is one. Um, if you believe that God uh, is ignoring you, that presupposes a belief in God. Um, and you build on that. And you, you strengthen a connection uh, to God despite uh, the, uh, the troubles you have. Um, there's another time where uh, another disciple <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Came to Rabbi Pinchas, and um, he was disturbed. He was he was uh, um, he was filled with doubt. And the, what was his doubt? How is it possible for the Almighty, the Creator, to know every thought, everything that's going through my mind, everything that's going through my heart, regardless of how fleeting it is? How is that possible? to know every thought, every feeling uh, that I'm having. Not just me, but the millions and millions of people throughout the world. How's that possible? And he was so, so torn up by this that he decides, I have to go talk to uh, Rabbi Pinchas of Koretz, which he does. And uh, as he's approaching uh, Rabbi Pinchas' house, Rabbi Pinchas is at the window and he sees his disciple coming. One look at him and he, he knows something's up. The gentleman walks in and says, hello. And Rabbi Pinchas sizes him up immediately. He knows him very well. And before the guy can open his mouth, he says, just looking at you, I know what's on your mind and I know what's troubling you. If I can do that with you, how much more so can the Holy One, blessed be He, see into your heart and see into your mind? The guy was, of course, just stunned. And he saw an insight. Yeah, if... Um, Sometimes uh, what I think is a, is a trouble to me is obvious to the one above. Uh, we're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Emona Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much. And it just occurred to me that this is the 350th video that I'm making for the Emona Project. Um, as I may have mentioned in previous videos, when uh, Rav Dror, uh, Moshe Kazuto, came to me and asked me to do some videos um, to Noahides, to converts, uh, and to returnees to Balichuva, um, I thought maybe I'd do 20, 25. And here we are, 350 videos. I want to thank uh, Rav Dror, as always. 
for giving me this opportunity uh, to do videos for the Amuna Project. With God's help, as Rosh Hashem, I'll do many more. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And as always, until next time, thank you too much.